screencast of the small basic houses recipe. This screencast is intended for instructors. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the first couple of lines that are going to give you something that you can see. So will you read out line five for me? For, for me? The current height is 50. Okay, so in line six, go ahead and translate that by typing something to represent the height. And because we can't see that, we're going to actually do two lines. Normally we would do one line at a time, but we're going to do two lines. So can you read line 46 for me? Move the tortoise the height of a house. And what's the subject of that sentence? Tortoise. Uh-huh. So go ahead and type tortoise. And again, we're going to reinforce pressing the tab key and separating with a dot. And then exploring with up and down arrows to find the appropriate method, which is going to be move. And once we find move... Instead of uh, putting in a number, we're going to use the new variable that we just declared height. Now you might remember from teaching square that we have on our slides, then go ahead and run it, um, this concept of a variable, and at this point you may want to reshow this to the kids. So once you've done that, then we're going to clean up uh, this line here by pressing Control L because we've translated that, and clean up uh, this line as well, and we're going to move to the next line that we could actually see something. So on line 43, if you read that out. Change the color of the line the tortoise draws to a random color. Okay, and again, the subject is what? Tortoise. So go ahead and start with that. And using the tab key and then the dot. And um, again, if you've taught square, this is normally the second uh, recipe that you'll teach. We're going to use the getters and setters here. So if the kids are not remembering, you could uh, bring up that slide. And then, of course, they can use the set pen color either with the string word um, or in this case, because it's a random color, they're going to have to use the method um, that sets a random color. And they'll discover that off of the colors object. And encourage them to use the tab key, reinforcing the things that you taught them in the first lesson. And go ahead and run that. And you'll see that it is uh, no longer black, and then we'll clean up the next line. So the next thing that we're going to do here is we're going to have the, uh, we're going to do line three. So go ahead and read that. Have the tortoise start at 10 pickle, pixels on, in on the x-axis. Okay, so go ahead and translate that line. And then run that. And notice that that sets it over to the left side. And then we'll clean up that line. Now notice we haven't translated line one. And there's a specific reason for that. We don't want this to go fast until the kids have some more experience seeing what will happen. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to fill out this method that's um, being called in line five. We're not going to uh, call the method yet, but we're going to fill it out. And this is actually really important so the kids can see how a method works because this is the recipe where we introduce methods. So what we're going to do is um, translate line 52 because that's the next one you can see. Read that one out. Move the tortoise the height of a house. So go ahead and translate that. And then run that. And you'll see now you just move twice the height. So we'll uh, clean that up. And the next line that we're going to do is line 53, which is what? Turn the tortoise 90 degrees to the left. So go ahead and translate that and run it. Again, there's a reinforcement here of an earlier concept taught in square, which is basically there's two ways to do a left turn. You can call the left turn method, or you can do the negative, which is shown in the documentation. And go ahead and read line 54 and translate that. Change the color of the line the tortoise draws to green. Okay, go ahead.
and then run it. Again, the kids can use either a string or they can use the colors object. Either one will work. It's okay. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is clean that line up. And then the next line to translate is 55. Read that one. Move the tortoise 20 pixels. Okay. Go ahead and translate it. And run it. Okay. And again, we're just making a line here. Now we're going off the screen. So now we're going to clean that up. And then we're going to translate this last line here. What is that? Go ahead and read it. Turn the tortoise 90 degrees to the left. Okay, go ahead and translate that. And run it. Okay, and now what we're going to do is clean that line up. And this is a very important part of teaching this because, again, we're teaching subroutines here. We're going to translate line 5. We're going to call a subroutine before we create it. We're going to have the kids do this on purpose. So go ahead and call the subroutine. And go ahead and run it. And we're going to see an error. And we want the kids to see that on purpose because we haven't defined it so that they can understand that they need to define the subroutine and then call it. So now we're going to go down here and create the subroutine by translating line 40. And a recipe is translated into a sub. So we will create that. And then if we run it, we notice that it's not going to work because whenever we create a sub, we have to have an end sub. So we'll go to the bottom here. And at the very bottom, we'll put in, we'll put in the end sub. And run it. Okay. Now we still have only something occurring, but we're not really completely drawing a house because we haven't drawn a roof. So we're going to go ahead and clean this line up, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the roof. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just draw the roof out, and then we're going to call the recipe. So let's go down to this recipe of draw flat roof, and we're going to start with line 60. So what does that say? Turn the tortoise 90 degrees to the right. Go ahead and translate that. And run it. Okay. And now we're going to we're going to clean this up. And then if you can read the next line, what what is that line? Move the tortoise 30 pixels. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it 30, and we're going to run it. And now we're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to do the next line, 62. Read that one. Turn the tortoise 90 degrees to the right. Okay. And this time I'm just going to use turn right. Make it faster. Either one works. Okay. And now we're going to do something a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to encapsulate this in a recipe. So we're going to use a sub for that. We're going to say draw flat roof. And then we're going to put the end sub on. And then what's going to happen is the functionality in this sub is not going to occur because we haven't called it. It's really important that the kids will see that. So they'll see that when we have the execution here. And then we're going to get rid of these lines because we don't need them anymore. And then we're going to format our code so we can see by right-clicking inside of it, we can see the subs. And then we need to call this one. So draw flat roof is... Uh, right here so we're going to call draw flat roof and then we're going to just run that notice 
we are not translating the if clause yet. So now we start to see some houses being drawn. Now we've only drawn one house, so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this line and set, set the variable for the height now to 120 as line 6 says. And if we run it, let's see what happens. Again, it's important for the kids to see that they need to call not only the, the change to the variable, but also the method again. So now we're going to call the method again. And we're going to run it. And at this point, you might want to start to speed up the application of the program because the kids are getting tired of waiting for it. So you're going to want to have them translate after you clean up this line. Line one. Can you read line one for me? Make the tortoise move as fast as possible. And again, this is the getters and setters that they learned about in Square. So this will speed up the application. And we're going to get rid of this. Now, um, to draw the rest of the houses, you just go and complete the recipe. And for the purposes of time, I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is fill out the um, if clause here. So in the if clause, you'd want to use the slide to remind students of the if. And then you'd want to translate if the current height is greater than 55. So you're going to say height is the variable is greater than 55. Then you're going to draw a flat roof. Otherwise, you're going to draw a pointy roof. And then you're going to put your and if in the appropriate position. Now, this is a very important teaching concept because kids are going to put the if in the wrong spot and a lot of times. And it's going to make some weird, weird applications. So if they put the if in the wrong spot, you want to go back and help them put it in the correct spot. Um, to complete this recipe, what you would then do is you'd go to the draw pointy roof and you'd fill this out and then you'd call the method and then you'd complete the if clause here by using an else if and then you'd go through and you'd complete the rest of the heights and the draw house calls to complete the recipe. So this again is a, a shortened recipe for teachers. Hopefully this helps. If you have questions, please contact us through teachingkidsprogramming.org or through my blog at blogs.msdn.com. This is Lynn Langett. Thank you.